Hello, Phil Thatch here, and we are on Game Reserve Road in Prentice Cooper Wildlife Management Area, and we were going to go, it's raining right now, and we were going to head at sunset to Snoopers Rock. We've been here at sunrise, which it's, it's actually a really more of a sunrise location, but we thought it would be a beautiful uh, sunset photograph tonight, and we got here kind of entering game reserve road and do not enter strictly in forest although the gate on the left hand side is open um, but apparently we probably should not enter area is open at sunrise closed at sunset plan your trip accordingly so we are going to turn around and we just ate at what's the name of that place mike's something or another hole in the wall we just ate at Mike's Hole in the Wall, and I kind of thought it would, might make a cool photograph. So we're going to go down there and uh, maybe take a picture at Mike's Hole in the Wall or something. We don't know exactly what we're going to do yet, but one thing is for sure, we're not going to Snoopers Rock, what with the road closed and strictly enforced, so it says. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're on the side of DuPont Access Road. The famous 10 Bridge Railroad Bridge is right there with the house on the top. I've made a video uh, of it with a drone flying around it. This right here is the construction of the new lock and the old lock is to the left. It's mostly on the north or the upriver side of uh, the Chickamauga Dam and, and the new lock is gonna be mostly on the downriver side of the Chickamauga Dam. But uh, we, we wanted to go, oh, and look, and you can see Lookout Mountain over there in the distance. We wanted to go back to Mike's Hole in the Wall and take a picture, but on, over there it was absolutely dumping buckets. So we started coming home, and I remember when we came out, I saw this spot and thought these giant cranes look cool. So I may try to make a shot of them. Okay, so the whole key to this shot working, there's three of these huge cranes, and I think they're all basically the same size, but we walked down probably 50 yards from the truck where we started out, and I, I've got it to where all three of the cranes are not overlapping each other, and the crane on the right is pointing this way, and the crane on the left is pointing that way. The crane in the middle is pointing that way, but it's completely framed by those other cranes, and all of the cranes have lights on them. I wish they had them all the way across, but they just have them on the, on the back, the counterbalance side of the crane. So uh, anyway, I'm, I'm using my X-T3 and my new small rig L bracket. And I've got the kit lens, which I didn't buy it as a kit. I bought it used on eBay uh, on there. And I'm gonna see if I can get this thing going. We're almost to blue hour. Probably gonna wait just a little bit till it's good and blue, and then we'll make this shot. Okay, I've been dialing in this composition for a while, while the blue hour's been getting better. And I think I finally got it while the light's about right. I'm at F11 ISO 160, which is base on an X-T3. That still blows my mind. Why couldn't they have made it 100? Uh, shutter speed is three seconds, and it looks like I'm uh, at about 25 millimeters. I'm gonna do a two second timer. And there we go, oh, apparently I have my two second timer programmed to make more than one shot. Looks like I have it programmed to make several shots. So we'll see. I don't know, I think one of those cranes might have moved some. They've been moving stuff around. Yeah. I may have to move further to the left. It's messing up my composition. Yeah, I need to move over here some. Yeah, that crane is moving. That crane's moving right now. Holy crap. Okay. Whoops, there's a sign. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna have to go a little wider from this one. I'm gonna have a little bit more of the waterfront. Because this, the water, where the water goes to the left here, that's North Chickamauga Creek. And then that body of water right there, that's the lock, the functioning lock that goes up through there. You can see the doors of it behind the far left crane. This is the new lock that they've been building for years. And over there is the Tennessee River. Okay, so I'm gonna try the new composition a little bit further down. Poor Heather's right by this sign. Uh, and it is four seconds now, F11, ISO 160, two second timer. Let's see how that looks. That may be kind of what I'm looking for. I should call this video tenacity because drove a long way, nearly an hour to the first location and then went back to the place where we ate to try to get a shot and that didn't work. And finally this shot worked out pretty doggone good. So it pays to stick with it. Now this is the first composition of the two that you saw me make photographs of in the previous clips and there's a little bit of overlap on a part hanging down from the right hand crane on top of the middle crane but other than that this photo is vastly superior especially the light star there in the very center of the frame as you see this is the second composition and it does fix the overlapping crane parts on the right but that light star in the middle has a weird flare on it that I really don't like and I thought I'd share both of them with you to let you see the differences. Today's photography adventure started out with one idea and then moved to a second idea after the first one failed. And then the second one failed and we ended up landing on this one that we just happened to kind of see on the way by. So uh, you never know what's going to happen. I can't believe that it's completely dry right here. Not a drop of rain has fallen when a 10 minute drive from here, it poured buckets for a solid hour and was still raining when we left. But uh, anyway, the Chickamauga Dam lock construction is pretty cool to photograph and we're glad you came along with us. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. You've got lens flare in your face. Let me move it off your face. Have a great day. If you like the content, give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate that. And we hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.